I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game. So it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. Okay, I've got time for um, maybe some strike missions before we do uh, before we do the boot camp. Boot camp is very very soon. You love to see it. It really is. I guess I could actually do the boot camp on this character as well. That could be interesting. Then I can leech some rewards. I need to leech some gold on this guy. I am a little bit inclined to actually help uh, this time because uh, you know it's a little bit unfair to, to you know make everyone do this with you know <laughs> to make everyone do this with just uh, with you know with with nine players is a bit fucked up. So maybe I will auto attack as well. I might do some auto attacking, guys. Some axe auto attacking. What are we killing on the boot camp? So on the boot camp, we're gonna do old lines court, and then after old lines court. It's probably going to be, hmm, wing one. Then it's going to be wing one. Then things are going to get exciting. Right, I'm going to get in there on the boot camp now. I will actually tag up. Oh, apparently one of the boot campers is delayed. That is okay, though. Uh, I will join them now, and we'll get a squad going. Okay. Yo. Hey, yo. Hello. It is Hello. time to destroy Greetings. things. Okay, I will make a squad, uh, and then everyone can join me. You're I, destroying my confidence, yeah. yay. I am leeching less. Again. Okay, I am leeching less this time. I will auto-attack on my firebrand. It's gonna be good. But yeah, you can join me now. I am Frugal Fighter. That is my account. I am in, hardly stuck, and I will represent. In fact, I can just add all of you. Let's go. This is huge. Massive. This is big. Nice. Ah. Get in here. Okay, now let me actually quickly procure a helper. Right. We need someone to replace Ralph, who is on holiday. Okay, abandon the boot camp. Hates us. Unlucky. But we need someone to replace this individual. <coughs> and the rule if you disobey the rules, by the way, if you join, I'm not going to be happy with you. Okay, um, you have to join. You're only allowed to auto attack. Um, so the rule is 5k DPS. Yeah, no, you want to be like 10k DPS, like 10 to 15k DPS. That is the only thing you that's can allowed. Only auto attack. Yes, auto attack only. Otherwise, you will be purged. Illegal, illegal move. I want. No, you're not allowed to leech. So you actually can join Sadius, but you're not. You well, I guess you can leech actually. You can half leech. Ah, here we go. I have actually got a good helper. Oh wait, no, that's that's both of them though. That's no, I only need one of you. Right, no, not you. Okay, yeah, good. Right, we have a helper. Here we go. Ah, Melina will join us and auto attack on Weaver. I like that. That's big. Oh, look, look at this composition. This is, it's music to my eyes. Double Herald, Druid, Mech. Oh my god. Let's go. Okay, we got the Blade Swarm. We got the Soul Beast. We got the Virtuoso. We've got the auto attack firebrand. We've got the auto attack weaver. We've got one auto attacker in each subgroup. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and yeah, then we just have to wait for uh, lagging now, but that's fine. We can just go with nine uh, for now. Yeah, honestly, I actually kind of want to say I, I kind of messed up on this. Um, I did forget to get our gear sorted out. I got so excited to leap into the content that I didn't go over uh, gear first. We were running last um, last week with some scuffed builds okay we, we we had we were we were playing hard mode right uh, but now we have fixed it feels good you love to see it okay good He's a good guy. nice good really good that's nice that's really nice excellent work team really good job really good job protection yeah yeah the, the heralds are definitely helping with the protection but also yeah keeping that boon up very important excellent work supports supports putting in the work okay it's time for Old Lion's Court. I actually think yeah, that with yeah. our slightly refined setup, we're going to absolutely decimate this. So let's go in confident. Let's go in big and shut this down. Let's do this. All right. So to Arborstone, friends. And then it's time for some big, 
huge strike missions. All right, let's do this. Bear in mind, if we can beat this, this is harder than, to be frank, a lot of the raids we're going to encounter early on, right? Um, I would say... Oh, would I say Old Lion's Court is harder than all of Wing 1? I'd actually be really tempted to say yes, actually, um, to that. Oh, it, man, it, I'm nervous. It's, it's, you, sh you shouldn't be, because we're going to crush this. Uh, that, um, I'm sure that jumping right puzzle back. is going to wreck yeah. a couple of us, at least. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I also have no idea how this fight works yet. So oh, that's yeah. good. Wait, what? How have you not done this? Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, what? I did it like three times or so. Like, I... Yeah, I did it three times good. or so, so I, I don't know. So you're, so you're, all you have to do is press W, A, S, and D, so... It'll that's be true. Fine. Yeah, you... Yeah, Melina needs to join the boot camp. Yeah, that's true, yeah. I, I Melina should, is not I, pretending. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. A lot of things I'm pretending, you know, I'm like, I'm holding back. No. <laughs> So, I mean, this is the real me. basically, really here's the gist of, uh, of stuff like this. There are going to be red pools. Don't stand in them. There's going to be white highlighted areas. These are safe. Stand in those. There's going to be defiance bars to break. Break them when we make the call. Uh, there's going to be spread attacks. You know, a lot of this is well telegraphed, to be honest, right? You'll, you'll be fine. Honestly, let's get in there. Let's do this. And there's also a fun puzzle mechanic. And I'll, I'll just try and... I'll, I'll kind of call things as we go, right? Um... Don't worry, I believe in you, Lagnik. We will free farm. Well, that makes one of us. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Small group. Okay. Here we go. Don't CC this. Don't CC this. Just leave it. And also, uh, stand over it. here. Stand on the air tagger. We want to make sure that Helga gets the tank. It's the, these are the ones they work on. The closest person gets tank. So here, see these white areas? Stand in one of those safe areas, right? Otherwise, we will get blown up. Okay. So this one, every um, every six auto attacks it does, it spawns a pool. See that? See that pool? That red light spawning there? Do not touch that. And it will do that every two auto attack chains. So it's going to do it... Uh, well, actually, we did... F yeah, our damage is a little bit higher, okay? Um, so we're going to break We're gonna break this defiance bar here. Break this defiance bar. So when you break the defiance bar on these, look what happens. Can you see how it flips over? And that's how it works. The save zone flips, right? Okay, good. Let's DPS. And there's the next phase. And yeah, so this one, what this one does is it targets the... We can break this defense bar again. It fires a boomerang at the furthest person and that places down a pool. So if you get a green... If your screen gro uh, glows green, run to the edge. And on this one, if your screen glows blue, drop to the edge. Because basically, this one has a... Okay, run towards the boss here. Run towards the boss. This one does more damage the further you are away. So we want to be close to it. Um, so basically what happens is uh, three people will get a spread mechanic, then one of those three will get a tether. This means you have to walk out to the edge and drop a pool. So here we go. This is a puzzle. We have to CC green first. You can see here that if we flip over green, the red area will be safe, right? Can you see that? We flip over green. Red is now safe. We go into the safe zone. Here we go. Red pool spawning. Let's get ready to move. So we need to go to the other side. Let's just move to the other side. We don't need to CC. Let's just go ahead and move out of this danger zone. So just move the boss over here. Keep DPSing. Let's go. Just move it right to the edge. Good. And be in the white highlighted area to be safe. Good. Oh, we did fail. Be careful with that. It can do quite a lot of damage. We don't want to mess about with that too much. Okay. Again. Yep. Yeah, green screen. Oh, you did it. Oh, yeah. Your mechanical mate. It, 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 you did it first try. What a giga chad. I like that. <laughs> Hasn't seen the fight. Does the mechanic properly first time. Look. I'm, I'm, yeah. If we keep doing that, we're in business. Run towards this Stay one safe. again. So we're going to encounter this tether mechanic. So get ready for that. This is another mechanic we've got to deal with. Three people are going to get a... Uh, we don't need to CC. Three people will get a spread. So spread out. And then one of those three will get a tether. Move it towards the edge of the arena. Stay in the safe zone. Stay no, 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 no. Okay, yep. Don't move Okay, up. yep. Yeah, careful there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't be in the doom zone. You could have got away with that, but that won't always work. Um, yeah. Oh, no. I'm down. Okay, ooh, let's get this rose. too far with the blue. Sorry. There we are. Get back in, and this is spread. There we are. And there's the tether, so move out with that. Just right, right to the edge. Yep, there we are. And boop. Oh, no, we actually phased, so yeah, there you go. Right, it's puzzle time. So it's going to be red. Um, by the way, I like it. this puzzle is um, scripted, right? So it's always the same. But it, it's kind of logic, right? You can see that we inverted red and it made a safe error behind blue. That's the, the logic. It's not like, oh, but it's not completely arbitrary, right? It's a puzzle. And you can see here that it's going to be, the first one was green, then it's red, and the final one will be blue. Okay, here's where things get a bit spicy. 
So really focus up here, gamers. This is where things get a little bit tricky. So Mech, go ahead and pick up the other one. Lovely. And again, just keep it away from us. Just make sure they don't... Because if these, if they get close to each other, they start using both of their death attacks at the same time. And that's never fun, is it? Okay, good. Be in the indicated area. Be in the safe area. And so uh, Mech, just go ahead and move it over towards Circle. And then we'll keep DPSing here. Okay, good. Get that teller out. Um, yeah, oh, no, that's not... Well, yeah. Not ideal. That's okay, though. Get ready to CC Blue. Oh, ah, we have encountered a bug. Nice. You can see that green is moving. Let's hope this actually... Is this going to work? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're fine. It should do. Yeah, that was... Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry about that. That is actually a bug. That's not Ooh. our fault, uh, by the way. That is actually a severe game-breaking bug uh, in the encounter. Yeah, basically, we had to be here, I think. The safe zone was incorrect because the boss moved. Um, unfortunate. A little bit unfortunate that. But no, no, to be clear, we didn't do anything wrong. Uh, there, that was actually the... Well, that was bullshit. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, that was unfortunately a bug. a bug. Yeah, yeah. Um, when will Anet fix their game? Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to hold us back. Yeah, we they are. They, yeah, we can't, yeah, we, you know, we couldn't have it first try, could we? But yeah, uh, to me, uh, by the way, the final 10% after that puzzle is an auto win. The, uh, yeah, by, by far the hardest part is that um, 60 through to 10, right? That's by yeah, far not, the I'm hardest part of the encounter. Yeah. I'm not counting that as a loss because that's mm -hmm. just bullshit, honestly. Yeah, it's very, it's very frustrating. That that's very unfortunate. That it's not, it's not that common, but it, it does happen sometimes. So very unfortunate. But great job. Yeah, we did it. That's it. We we beat the fight. That's it. We we have done the fight. That's by far the hardest part. Really awesome job, team. Um, and hopefully, uh, you can kind of see how playing with the comp a little bit, uh, being a little bit careful with how you put your team together. Oh yeah, it can help. And I actually do want to really reiterate here. Um, even if Melina, do, you know, actually. Let's prove this. Melina, do nothing. Um, uh, uh, no no attacking. No DPS. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'm so confident that um, we can do this. I will do nothing as well. I'm going to unequip my weapon. I'm going to do nothing too. Because uh, I don't want you to ever feel like, oh, it's because we have these experienced players. I'm going to do nothing. Uh, nothing this encounter. Uh, and I mean, you are Melina explaining the mechanics to us. To yeah, well, fair, I'm doing but, that. Uh... Yeah, but no, I, I don't want to feel like there's any like, oh, we're only winning because we have this player auto attacking. Absolutely not. Um, that's not the case. Um, everyone's doing really good. Our damage output's good. Our boon output's good. It's all good. Um, oh yeah. Uh, let's see. Do we? Uh, I'll take. Look. Um, has everyone got a trading post? Who's got a trading post? We are buying utility right now. <laughs> I I see people without the wrench. And it's not making me happy. Um, <laughs> okay, right. Everyone here. Okay. Power builds. Power players. Potent sharpening stone. These are really nice. Uh, they're one hour long. Give you an extra 100 power or so. Lovely. Get in there. Uh, Condi people. Uh, what is it? It is tuning crystals. Yeah. Potent yeah. master tuning crystals or toxic. 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 Uh, toxic focusing crystals also really good. So toxic focusing crystals or potent master focusing crystals. Healers. I'm going to use Ritz. Bountiful. Well, you're not even allowed to attack. So you can use Ritz if you want. Uh, Bountiful Maintenance Oil uh, for our beautiful supports. Oh, yeah, and Lucent Oils for some of our boon builds. This is actually mega OP, by the way. This is really a weird aside. If you're playing an exotic support build, so you don't have Ascended Gear yet, Potent Lucent Oil. Godlike food, actually. It's so unbelievably stat efficient. It's so, so good um, for uh, getting up your boon duration on a uh, power, a power support build. Okay, uh, let's do this. Uh, this time... No, uh, yeah. Melina is literally just soaking up boons and leeching boons. Actually, worse than having no player here. That's actually funny. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, we're at a handicap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go! <laughs> oh. Let's do this. Nice. So, again, we're going to be doing nothing here. So, just wait until this one's ready to attack. Mm -hmm. You can technically like, uh, CC this one if you want to, uh, but it, it just it kind of makes the initial burst a bit more annoying, uh, to be honest. No need to do it. Okay. Tank moves out. Be in one of the safe zones. So the way this mechanic, you'll notice that there's two safe zones. Basically, it alternates every time for you, right? It will be different if you, you know, it, you, ba you, basically, you basically pick where you want to go. You can, and it will alternate in or out every time, depending. So if you start in, the next one will be out. Then it'll be in, then out, then in, out. And if you go out first, then it's out, in, out, in. So you can pick. So out now, if you were out, in otherwise. 
There's the face. Look, we're still basically on the same speed. Right, so green, we can CC this one. And remember, can I get this in, in the mind space here? If you're going to CC, stand in the danger zone. Can you see how everyone went to the safe zone and then had to move again? But we're going to flip it, right? So we actually want to be in the danger zone because then it will flip to the safe zone. Uh, okay, move out to the edge. Yeah. Oh, oh no, we CC'd! Run, That's run! CC. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we might have some doubts. Okay, no, no, we got away with it. Move it out. Good reactions, team. Very nice. Very good. Very good. <laughs> I'm grieving. So okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, run away, run, run, run towards the center. Thing. We're okay, we're totally cool, we're totally cool. Yeah, Firebrand, you got the tank, but you know what to do. Just keep it on the edge. Same as normal. Let's move it out to the edge. Remember, furthest person away is going to get the boomerang. Drop the pool at the edge when you have a green screen. So we're going to get tethers soon. Get He'll ready for stay that. there just fine. Yep. So get ready to do tethers. So it's going to be spreads and tethers soon. Let's, um, we don't need to CC that. We don't need to CC. Okay, just get that boomerang out and stay in. It's going to be spread into tether. Do not CC red, guys. Just stay together, stay together, stay together. Get the tether out and then run, out. run towards the center now. Run towards the center. Okay, no one died. Run towards the center. Big heal. Move to circle. Everyone to circle now. Okay. A tank now. So tether. There's a tether. Get out. Oh, oh, we need to get We need to res that tank. Res that tank, gamers. And then run towards the boss. Run towards that boss. Oh, this is going to get a little bit spicy. Oh, no. Oh, it's using its oh, giga no. attack. It's using its giga attack. That's bad. This might help. We actually survived. Okay, just finish the phase. We've got to rest phase okay. this now. Rest okay. Rest okay. We've got to get this phase. Go big damage. Let's go down. all Make damage down. on boss, guys. All damage on boss. If we can just phase, we win. Just ignore everything. Run towards the center. Use everything you got. Okay, there we go. We're going to get through this. Okay, and now it's going to be Here blue CC. Daniel. Blue is going to be the CC here. So CC blue. Okay blue, 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 blue. Yeah, hopefully not. Looks like we, we are safe, half. though. Circle. Yep, into the little safe area here. And there's going to be three tanks here. We don't have a tank for red, so we're just kind of YOLO this. Um, does someone pick up <laughs> red? Someone get green? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And then we'll have uh, Mechanist get green once again. They're going to drop down. And then whoever gets blue gets blue. Doesn't matter. Base, Proximity, yeah. Green. Um, green is the second one that lands. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. And just burst. Massive damage. Be in the correct safe zone. Move green out and go all in. Let's finish this. Regroup, regroup, and full DPS. One set of tethers. Here we go. Get ready to move the tether out. And finish this night. 3%. Come on, let's go. It's free, guys. Come on. Get it. Kill it. Boom, it's down. Get to green now. Run. Okay, well, stay away, though. Run in fear. Yeah. Get the res. Get the res. Okay. I'm not resing. I'm not helping. I refuse to help. Healers, time to activate. Let's make this happen. Get this revive. We have one heal, actually. We're down one. That's okay, though. Okay, group up. Run away. Get out. Get out. Yep, run, run, run. And there's the spread, too. There's a tether. So, uh, Murad, put that at the edge, if you can. Put it at the edge. Not there. I guess it's fine, too. Okay, eliminate okay, green. Good. Destroy green. And 10% left on blue. Come on. Get it. Let's go. Come on, go. I have the tether. Destroy blue. Run towards stay, blue. Stay close, run in, close. run in, run in. Okay. Molina is dead. 3%. Okay. 2%. 2%. Let's 1%. go. Yes. <laughs> yes. We got it. Yes, team. There we Did go. You? Easy. First try as well. First try. Without the bug, anyway. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> counting the bug. Yeah. That's definitely first try. Yes. Very good. <laughs> yeah, we did, we did yeah. so much better. Yes. Line up in front of the chest, gamers. It's time. We just have a... We, you know, look, we need a, like a glorious I'll take a screenshot. Time, like... Yes. Be the camera person, Melina. Camera person us. Give Let's me, go. Give me a second. Let me pump the graphics. Let's go. Look at that. Uh... It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> one sweet, one second. I have to disable all the, the arc windows. and There you go. Look at that giant chest. It's a good it's a good place to take a screenshot. We have conquered the old lion's court and it feels good. Done. Nice. Well done, team. Commemorative screenshot will be enabled. Alright. Time to go ready one. Yeah, and it is time for a raids now. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> I think it will actually feel comparatively easy, I think. <laughs>
you are just also... as a general question mm -hmm. how the hell are you supposed to do that without voice chat um if, if everyone if everyone kind of knows how it works uh it's not too you bad you have a dedicated tank i think yeah yeah you decide who tanks at the start yeah yeah you kind of sort things out you'll 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 say hey are you gonna tank red are you gonna tank you know, all that kind of stuff and then if everyone individually knows what's going on then it's not it's not too bad right Okay, let's go over to our aerodrome and open up wing one. You know what's interesting? Um, hmm. Uh, ha. Huh. Let's, let's, let's be interesting here. So, I would say that our actual power level as a team is actually pretty damn high. Uh, it's good. We're definitely getting up towards the, you know, the top 10%, top 5%. Uh, but what's very interesting is that we're actually, our mechanical skill, so our button pressing, uh, is not super great, but we are compensating for it by uh, learning the fight well and communicating, right? Which is actually more important. That's the good news. So what this means is that when our button pressing improves, we will become gods, which is exactly what we want. Okay. Uh, back real quick, gamers. Yeah. Uh, by the way, we can just run in. Um, so we actually have a trash event at the start, which conveniently is going to teach us the mechanics. Um, all of the mechanics, more or less, are essentially on these first three little trash mobs. So welcome to Wing One, Veil vale Guardian. Um, is going to be our first boss. So let's get in and let's just observe. Let's let's see what happens here because there's some pretty interesting stuff that happens. Hey, Who's here we go. Candy? Yeah, well, this one actually uh, needs to be boon ripped. Basically, you need to remove a boon from this one to do damage to it. And green circle. Now, this green circle is a bait. We are actually going to be ignoring it. If you if you don't have four people in this green circle, uh, it explodes. And everyone takes a lot of damage. Now, you can send people to the green or healers do your thing. Healer. We can out heal this. Look at that. See, right? So we're going to be using our healers to out heal this and essentially ignore this mechanic. And whenever we see this blue guardian in the fight, we need to remove its boon and then do heavy damage to it to kill it. So here we go. Healers, go. And here's something for our heal mech. You can use barrier before that circle explodes. So what you can do, save your barrier signet, right? for every time you see a green circle spawn. And then right as it's about to explode, go ahead and use your barrier signet and you can shield everyone. So this guy, this is the mechanic yeah, that I actually, teleported. yeah, 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 yeah. So um, yeah, actually just auto attack, kill this guy slowly. We want to practice this. So check this out. See these blue circles? They do damage to you and teleport you, right? So this is the mechanic that's probably going to give us the most trouble. The boss will constantly spawn these around him and under people basically. So you need to be ready to move and respond. So here we go, blue, move. Yeah, there we go. We turn up your effects we volume. It's very easy to tell. Yes. And break the defiance bar, and then it will die. There we are. And then blues. See, those things, those are dangerous. And they've also got a sound effect, and if you're standing in one, your screen will go orange. This guy is the Condi one. So here, Seekers. These things just run at you very slowly. If you stand, look, try standing in one and see what happens. It's not good. Uh, basically, you die. Uh, so if you see these things moving towards us, run. <laughs> don't, don't stand in them, right? <laughs> what we can do to mitigate these is use knockbacks. So Herald, your elite skill, will knock everyone back. Mech, your shield 4, will knock these back. Firebrand, your shield 5, will knock these back. Um, etc, etc, etc. Also worth noting, on Power Alacrity Mechanist, your fourth skill on Rifle, will knock these yeah, back yeah, too. And Soul Beast, of course, point blank shot will knock these back. And uh, also on our Virtuosos, Great Sword 5 will knock these back. So all of it, it's funny, quite a lot of us actually have something we can do about this. So yeah, um, if you have a displacement ability, get ready to use it. And yeah, you can block them with Guardian Star 5, that's true. And yeah, be, be very careful with pulls here, obviously. Don't pull yeah, them in. Exactly. Yeah, don't pull them in. That's not where we want to be. It's going to take off, but don't worry. Well, th th These actually have more health than they do in the fight. I'm going to give a very brief summary of the encounter, and then we're just going to get to it and just get in there. Uh, I'm a big believer on seeing and doing as a learning method, right? Let's just get in there, see what happens. We can ask some questions and then have some fun and just blast, right? Um, that's how it's going to be. Very important here. If someone goes down, every single player is pressing F, except maybe the healers, right? 
every DPS player is healing um, and getting players back up. It's really important that we recover people efficiently. So get that F key ready to rock and roll. Very, very important. Okay, um, so tank, go ahead and uh, attack the boss with mortar kit to start the fight. Okay, and here we go. So wait for the wall spawn. Blues, so move away from those blues. And let's go. Attack. Everyone behind the boss except the tank. Seeker's moving in. Good. First green Good. coming soon. Green is up, so get ready to big overheal. Barrier up now and watch blues. Big overheal. Also, quick thing for the verts, by the way. You can actually distort that attack. So you can actually distort green if you're in trouble. Another green. Get ready to heal. Blues. Try not to get teleported. And big heal's coming through now. Big heal, big heal. And now, okay, if you're a condi, go to the red area. Everyone else come with me. Okay, and we're going to move over to... We only we have one condi. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, so pull green over. Basically, what happens here is they split up again. We have to fight them in their forms. Do go in this green circle. We have to kill them to respawn the boss. They have their same mechanics, so nothing new here. So, basically, the reason why we split up here is one to kill them quicker, right? But also because it, you get marked with a little color. You can see that you've got like a red, blue, or green icon. You take Ooh. way more damage from the ones that you, from the different colors. We overheal two of them, no problem. All three can get a bit frisky. So tank, just move it in position again. It's going to be the same. Same mechanics. Only difference is there'll be a defiance bar. Break the defiance bar. Okay, and can you see that the floor's lit up? We're going to be moving the boss to avoid the floor being lit up. Barrier up and get ready to overheal. Barrier and heal now. Big heal, big heal. Watch those Seekers. Try and push them where if we can. Blue's coming. Blue, blue. Move away. Run back, run back. And can you see how the floor's lit up? When our floor lights up, we're going to move. Big barrier, blues, and get ready to heal. Heal now. Big heal now. Big heal. Let's go. Big heal. Get ready to move the boss tank. We're going to be moving here in a moment. Blues, don't get ported. Just run back, run back as quick as you can, and now move towards circle. Everyone off that lit up floor. Does a lot of damage. Good, and now blast heals. Get that revive. Everyone pressing F. And break the boss. Break the defiance bar. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Good. One more green circle. Keep healing. Healers are doing a oh, This is why, by the way, I always... I, okay, get ready to overheal. Overheal, and repeat that phase again from 66. We're splitting up again. So, Condi, Red, everyone else with me. Uh, actually, can we get a ranged heal on our Virtuoso? But put like, um, fire the elixir gun at him. Or, yeah, like a staff too. Yeah, good. And now here we go. So tank over towards circle. There's another seeker and more blues. Two areas of the floor. Blue, watch out. If you get ported, run back ASAP. Nuke the boss. Come on, big damage. Good. Green, get ready to barrier and overheal and defiance bar. Break defiance bar and massive barrier and overheal. No, we're not doing the green. Okay. CC, get that res. Big res, big res. Watch the blues. Don't get ported. And now move, 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 move over here. Sorry, I should have called that earlier. That's my bad. I'm, I'm, I'm out of control. Everyone over here. Uh, stand in this green. Everyone in the green. Everyone in the green. We can do this. We can kind of dynamically adapt because we're, you know, we, we got, we're chilling. Let's take the pressure off. Right, and tank over to the circle. Keep the DPS going. And then move again over towards circle. With me, with me, with me. Watch those blues. Keep going. Keep the DPS up. Come on, let's go. Okay, here comes the green. Get ready to overheal it. Barrier up now. Blues. Big blues and barrier. And now big heal. Oh, we have one down. Ooh, get that break uh, defiance I bar. I got down. Yeah, uh, we, we are not going to res you. Um, we don't need you. Okay, That's move fine. move here, tank. Move here and kill. Kill the boss now. Kill the boss. Actual first try. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Wait. GG, <laughs> 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 guys. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man! And by I actually wanna I wanna point something out by the way. That was first try with eight people. I actually wanna point out the fact that I did thirty four DP thirty four damage that entire fight, and Melina did nothing as well. Um, basically healer level DPS. So that was actually eight players first try Veil vale Guardian with everyone alive. Let's go. My explanation for this boss might sound very short. And that's because it is. Um, this boss is actually very easy. Um, so it's basically a tank and spank, right? There is a lot more mechanics that are supposed to happen, but because of like modern techniques, none of them actually do happen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so basically it's going to be a case of stand behind the boss, tank faces it away as normal. There's going to be a big smash. When you see like a big overhead smash, dodge that. Firebrand can Aegis that too. 
Of course, um, mech can also use Aegis and Stability, right? Revs can use Stability here for that kind of stuff. There's going to be a Defiance bar. When there's a Defiance bar, there's going to be Rings of Black Goop. Don't stand in the Black Goop. Break the Defiance bar. We'll actually break it quite slowly um, and out-heal a lot of the damage. Uh, more yeah, on, on why later. Yeah, so just go massive heals here. Uh, at 66 and 33, four spirits are going to spawn and about these markers. They're beautifully aligned. If any of them get to the boss, we instantly lose. So, familiarize yourself with your slow abilities. And actually, um, Soul Beast, just go ahead and take Entangle here, right? Uh, you also have Signal of the World, too. Or is it just uh, Cripple or Immobilize? Yeah, thing. it can be Immobilize, it can be uh, Chill, Cripple, but yeah, no hard CC will work. It's just going to be the, right. the soft CCs. So, familiarize with that. So, that's Net Shot on your Mechanist, of course. Yeah. Um, chill Field on the Mortar Kit, right? Blah, 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 blah. Right, you know what? You guys know the drill. So, we've got to slow them all down and kill them, otherwise we lose. I think that's actually enough to get started on the fight. I think we can just go ahead and start now let's do let's do this let's go okay go and remember tank just face it away from us you can just go ahead and run just just stand behind the boss basically here comes the smash smash dodge that or aegis it or whatever and hit the boss you can just stay right in the middle yep perfect good here comes the defiance bar don't break this we're just gonna out heal this because we're gonna cheese and skip the phase basically just stack you you uh, tank you the boss won't uh, follow you now you can just move this boss does have retaliation during this phase by the way so basically you get damage back healers just heal Healers, just heal it. I just out heal this. Bow of yeah, truth. Let's go. Good. Full heal, full heal, full heal, full heal. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Okay. We can move out of the goop as well. Healers, do your thing. Come on, more healing, more healing. More, 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 more. Get those reses. Down, down, down. Get the reses, get the reses. And then just hit the boss. I think we should actually make this. Face it away from us. Ads are spawning, so just let them run in and kill them. Stand behind the boss, tank face it away. Hit the boss as hard as we can. Let's see if we can get this phase. And there we go. What you're supposed to do is break a wall and do an up drop, but who cares about that? So now let's go ahead and kill these. What we can do is, is just go as a group and kill them one by one, right? Slow them down a little bit and then kill them one by one. So start on arrow, then circle, then heart, then square. And um, uh, soul beast, just use entangle when they're getting close to the middle, right? Basically, not uh, immediately. You can start, you can, well, I guess you might as well use it about now, I suppose. Right, good. Move over to the next one. And then that phase is going to repeat. Next up, though, there's going to be a slight difference in the mechanics. Orbs are going to spawn. Don't touch them. And if they get too uh, close to us, kill them. They kind of expand over time infinitely. Tank, face it away from us in any direction. Stability or Aegis. Good. And Aegis or Stability. And push the phase. And we're going to have a repeat of the orb of the uh, spirits again. This time, though, DPS, try and kill some of the orbs. Can you see how they're growing? If we touch them, we get a really nasty debuff. So try and kill those. And then again, rinse and repeat. Move back to arrow and eliminate arrow. There's one more mechanic in the final phase, by the way, gamers. There are going to be little orange AoEs that will egg you and CC you um, in a weird way. So if you see a little orange AoE, um, don't stand in it. And move to the next one. Oh, immobilize in the middle. Immobilize. Quick, 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 quick. We need it. We need an entangle. Okay, we've got to kill this. Kill this one on the boss. Kill this one here on the tag. All damage on me. All damage on me. Kill this. Perma immobilize it and kill it. We can still get away with this. Yeah, we have the immob. Good. Yeah, I didn't see that one creeping in. Right now, go back. Panic over. Panic over. Disaster averted. Okay. And one charge soul. Kill some of the big orbs, by the way. Kill some of those giant orbs. And get ready for the boss. Tank, get ready to reposition it. Okay. Killed a soul. Oh, wait. Wait, what happened there, actually? Wait, oh, I think... Do we fail to kill one? Oh. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, a soul got in. Oh, a soul... Yeah, I think one got in. Yeah, we need to kill that. Well, we are, we are dead now. But there you go. Congratulations. We now know the entire fight. And then rinse and repeat. Range DPS, try and eliminate some of these spectral darknesses. If you do happen to touch an orb and everyone else to uh, arrow, if you do have to touch an orb, you'll have a debuff. Uh, you'll have a debuff. The only way you can remove it is by touching two of those orange orbs. Can you see them? Two of those oranges. Those oranges spawn when one of the, the blue orbs dies, basically. So you've got to kill an orb to remove the debuff. Right, so kill arrow and then move over to the next one. Finish it off. And just clean up any nearby orbs that you see. Uh, you have been gooped, Helga, so touch two orange orbs. Two orange little orb things. Uh, kill an orb to... Uh, guys, can we kill uh, this orb here? I have it targeted. Kill this thing. We got a, They're getting a little big. Kill some of those orbs, guys. Take them out, take them out. And then run in and pick up the orange. Okay, we're back. We're on phase. Everyone restack. It's fine. We just go for this. Ooh, we might have to... Okay, eggs. See oranges? Don't don't be in those. No. Okay. You can can, yeah, cancel ability if that happens. You just cancel in power. Then you're good to go. 
Okay, good. Be behind the boss. And we're going to do a very slow CC here. Very slow CC. So move back a little bit. Back a little bit. Out of the goop. Out of the goop. Okay. And we're just going to... We're going to be staying here. So stay here and just heal. Heal, heal, heal. Barriers up. Get those healing pills. Move in, move in, move in, move in. And just go all out. All out. All out DPS. Oh, we actually broke the defense bar. We are going to do the mechanic correctly. Tank, move to circle. Tank, move to circle. Get ready to move. There's also going to be eggs. Eggs, move away. Don't get egged. Break those people out of the eggs. We've got to DPS the eggs to get them out. Move to circle. Break down this wall. Kill this spirit barrier. Move a bit further, tank. Move a bit further. All the way to the edge. Kill this wall. Kill this wall, gamers. There's going to be an updraft. We're going to glide into the updraft. Glide in. Don't, and don't go, okay. Stay here. Stay, 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 stay. And glide back now. Good. And then kill the boss. That's the intended way you're supposed to do it. Eggs. Dodge. And just kill the boss. We can instantly CC. Immediately break defiance here. Just everyone go in. All CC abilities. Break that defiance. Hard heal. Hard heal. Go. Keep everyone up. Go, 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 go. 2%. 1%. Love it. Nice. Job done. Great job, team. There it is. Boss number two down. You might actually be able to clear the raid. Yeah, I, we we've definitely got. We can maybe we can maybe squeeze in. We can maybe squeeze in a few tries on the final boss. It's very doable. It's very very doable. I think actually, if we can uh, learn quickly. Tragically, I need to leave. So I once again oh. have to not be here for the. That's all good. That's okay. We, we did say two hours. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did. We can maybe have a go though. We can at least uh, play around with it a little bit. Uh, okay, uh, let's just continue. Quick photo. I have a Quick question. Photo. Oh, yes. Photo. Yeah, what is the question? Yeah, you, you don't want us to break the CC barrier, yeah? but like all my good damaging skills do CC break, so like, do I just auto take? No, you use your big damaging skills and everyone else doesn't CC. You will not solo break the bar. You, uh, yeah. I mean, no, no, like, then I do two of them. That's you, you just, you just, you just, uh, attack, right? Like, yeah, you just, you just blast, right? Just go big damage. Uh, you'll be fine. All right. And as we get better, by the way, we'll just CC quickly anyway, right? Like, the only reason we were delaying um, is because we need to get that boss but to 66% before that Omega attack comes through. You notice how we didn't do that in the final phase? Because we were a little bit sloppy going into that phase. So we basically did the mechanic as intended, which gets a little bit more hectic, right? But instead, um, for the first phases, we were able to just completely brute force that. Uh, and you don't need to delay the break bar to do that. Um, you can actually instantly break it, but obviously that's an advanced technique after we have more damage output. So, um, this is the green bomb mechanic. If you get a green bomb, you get a little extra button um, on your character. Uh, and you also get an orange glowing screen. And what you have to do is, look, I can use the action key to throw this bomb and those players get launched over there. The mobs that give you this bomb are the bandit sappers, these guys. And yeah, that's the, that's the mechanic. Right? That's the gimmick. Um, so we are just going to practice that. Everyone is going to practice. So just try, yeah, try throwing it. It's like a targeted AOE. It's like a, you know, like any AOE, like a Sanctuary or a Purging Flames or whatever, right? You know, like Blade Storm, right? On, on Virtuoso, Symbols, right? All that kind of stuff. Very standard. And just go in and throw it. Try and throw it at this platform, right? Not at the Sapper. You need to throw it at these, these booster things. Can you see this here? It's got little arrows on it. It will launch players in the direction, um, that the arrows go. So look here, I'm here, I'm using the action key, I'm targeting, and everyone gets fired up. Whee! Just like that. And just come back down, and we're going to practice this a lot. You can actually launch yourself, by the way. So if you have the green bomb, look, I've got the green bomb. Look at this. I can go ahead and do this. Lovely. Okay, we'll go ahead and practice. Let's get a throw. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. It. There's one thing that we should talk about. Basically, um, if you get bombed, if you get thrown up, um, you can't go up again for a while. So you'll notice that uh, Makama Sins right now has a shell-shocked debuff. If you just go ahead and click on that soul beast, you can see shell-shocked. This means that you cannot be launched um, for a period of time, right? So that's going to be important on the fight. We'll get to that in just a moment. Okay. So this fight is not tanked, but... You know how I said that the supports do all the work? Yep, you're still doing it. Uh, you're not getting away from this. So, uh, we're going to have the Firebrand on the group. And Cuss means you're going to be kiting, not tanking. So, what does that mean? Basically, this boss uh, has a basic auto attack. But what she does is that she fires out um, fire patches, like projectiles that spawn AoEs, at the furthest person away. So, on this fight, your job is actually to kind of be 
Uh, can you see where I'm placing the arrow marker? You're going to be kind of at this range most of the time, right? Uh, baiting those fire patches to the edge of the arena where they're not on the group. And then, of course, you have your mech on the group. And you're still healing, right? You're firing out your elixir gun, your mortar kit, right? Uh, healing, you're throwing the med bomb, right? All that kind of stuff. Applying barrier around your mech, blah, blah, blah. You're still doing all the usual stuff. But you are just basically running around in a little circle, um, not getting hit by fire patches. That's your job. Um, for this. There will be times when you can actually move into the group, into the stack. I will call that. Um, and you'll very quickly figure out why. It's pretty obvious why you can do it. Um, but anyway, that's basically the gimmick. Uh, for that, everyone else, you just gotta hit the boss. The closest person to the boss will get a big red bomb. It will explode and do big damage to people. So if you're close and you get a big red bomb, you'll hear a little sizzle. Run away from everyone else. Don't kill the kiter. Easy stuff. The boss also has a lethal one-shot attack. This is going to be the first thing like this that we're encountering. The boss will say, burn, burn, burn. And actually, I should have mentioned this earlier, but audio is really important, right? A lot of um, uh, mechanics have audio tells. So if you have sound effects on, you can hear this stuff. Dialogue too. The boss will say, burn, burn, burn. And an arrow will be placed. It will look like it will look like this, right? There'll be a, an arrow pointing in a certain direction. Uh, and if you touch the flamethrower, you will die instantly. It goes around the... It kind of rotates around the arena in a straight line, counterclockwise. Um, so, this way, right? Like this. Uh, and if you touch it, you die instantly. I'm not going to talk about much else. There's a bit more... Hang on, careful. Don't run in. Don't run in. Okay. Um, I'm not going to talk about much else. We're just going to get down to business and get some tries in. Uh, but we've got to talk about the cannons. Yeah. So, you know that bomb mechanic? Yeah. It's important. We are going to be dealing with that. So what is going to happen? Basically, you'll notice that I've placed markers here. The arrow, the circle, the heart, and the square. The, can you see how they're little jump pads? Well, guess what? Cannons are going to be spawning that will fire down AoEs and also damage the platform. The platform has health. If the cannons fire too much, the platform dies. We fall to our deaths. GG. Not a good time. So... What do we do to counter this? Well, we're going to get green bombs throughout the encounter from some ads that spawn. What we need to do is we need to have a player go to one of these uh, markers and get launched up, right, by a person with a green bomb to kill the cannon and then come back down. They have low health, basically. The players we're going to assign to do this, it's going to be... Um, it's going to be our Power Alacrity Mechanist. It's going to be Victor, I believe. And yeah. it's also going to be... It's going to be the Virtuoso. It's going to be Heavy Metal Pirate because you can actually survive quite nicely um, here, actually. You can not die because you can distort through the flamethrower if uh, worst comes to worst. I think, I think everyone needs to remember to use the utilities and eat food. Ah, yes. Let me go ahead and drop that down. Oh, someone just used the food in the guild. Are you kidding me? Okay, here's a power food. <laughs> um, Here is a condi food. Oh, wait, hang on. Has everyone got... Oh, I... Oh, has everyone... Wait, hang on a minute. Uh, Melina, have you got a food actually from another guild? Heal food? I don't I got... think so because... Oh, my God, are you kidding me? I got <laughs> Has any wait? Can any has anyone got has anyone gotten a save? I don't think I do. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use delicious rice balls if you have some of those. Um, use delicious. Just use a manual food instead. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, I'm, I'm checking, right? Um... Yeah, that's fine. Actually, yeah, we can use this one. You can this one. This one's this. Uh, this one's no. This one. This uh, one sucks. If you don't use that one, that one sucks. Hard suck on NA if you want. Yeah, do it. Yeah, enable me a hard suck on NA healing food. Leeching oh, off NA feels good. Okay. <laughs> So mint garnish. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There you are. Eat. Healers eat. Okay, good. Uh, but I think that's enough talking. I think it's time for some gaming. We, we're not going to go too crazy, by the way. We're going to. I'm. I'm very conscious of the time. Uh, but we can maybe get a couple of tries in, right? Um, and see if we can get. This. I believe we can. I, I think if we if we pop off a little here, we can we can make this happen. We can make this happen. Let's first try it. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I believe in all. Let's rock and roll. Here it is. So again, everyone in, watch that red bomb. It's on the firebrand. Move out with that. And everyone in, we can just stack towards arrow. We're going to stack towards arrow, except for our mech, who is, of course, just doing their thing on the outside there. So everyone stack towards south, by the way, because we actually want the flamethrower targets a person, and we don't want it spawning towards north. We want to make it nice and easy. So red bomb out. Good. And get ready for flamethrower and the first cannon. Uh, everyone to the south. Uh, Murad and uh, Melina, get over here. Do not be over there. 
To the south, guys. To the south. Towards Arrow. Towards Arrow. Just on tag, right? Don't touch the flamethrower. Don't go to the cannon yet. Don't touch that flamethrower. And you... Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, GG. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. So, um... You, you look like you were kind of looking where to stand. But unfortunately, you failed to look at the most obvious place, which was on the boss. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, do you want me to do anything specific here? No, just, um... Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's make this happen, gamers. We're going to smash this boss into a billion pieces. All right, three, two... Oh, wait, I... what's... Go. Yeah, uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, nothing. I was just going to say I won't be wasted this time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, red bomb out. And let's go. We're stacking towards Arrow. Towards Arrow, guys. Keep your eye on that minimap. Towards Arrow. Everyone towards Arrow. Okay, throw the bomb at Circle. Throw the bomb at Circle. Okay, and now it's yeah. mini boss time. This is a shotgun boss. So, um, Tank, you can, or Kaito, you can come in and just hit this. It's a shotgun. Don't stand in the shotgun. Next cannon is in 10 seconds. It's Heart. It's going to be Victor. Oh, see these heavy bombs, by the way? Um, they, they blow up the platform. You see a heavy bomb? Just run up to it and press F. Kill these ads. Hit the boss. And Karen is up in two seconds. Heavy bomb. Get that heavy bomb. And Karen is up. It's Victor on heart. I'm on, the, on the heart. Fuck. Heart. Yeah. You shift signal over to it. Just shift signal over to it. And then throw. I already okay. use it. Oh, you are. Go, you, go, you, go, you, go. Yeah, you guys are dead. Yeah. I'm dead. Uh, GG. And oh, you actually I just. Up. That was actually really no, funny. I, um, yeah, you. I was at south. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You have to go to the right one. Yeah. Uh, and also, you, I think you actually just like a lyrics. Did you distort that heavy metal? But you actually can dodge that. You can frame perfect dodge the flamethrower, by the way. Uh, you may have just done that by accident. I like that. That was big. Okay. And then move out with the red bomb. It's going to be mini boss. And you can now move in, Kaita. And also, yeah, throw that green. Uh, you, yeah, you got it on yourself. Nice. Okay, good. Kill the cannon, then come back. This mini boss, just, you know, killer, right? Don't stand in front of her, basically. See these bandit thugs? These actually CC you. Heavy bomb, so run up to it and press F to destroy it. Good. And next is going to be north. It's going to be heart. It's going to be victor. So look at heart. Don't, no, no, don't go too early. Okay. Ooh, oh, boy. Sorry. Yeah. Hang on. Do I get flex? Um, no, 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 it's fine. No, no, because the boss isn't here yet. Um, okay. Run, run, run. Okay. Do not, don't go there yet. We, okay, we're probably going to skip that kind of. Actually, if you can shift signet there and throw, it'll be good. Uh, oh, no, it's fine. No, just run away, run away, run away. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Uh, we can... Can we actually get a backup? Um, red. Red, go to heart. Red, go to heart. Don't, no, don't go, Victor. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, okay. No, no. We're skipping it. We just skip it. Next is going to be square. And that's going to be heavy metal again. Get ready for that. Think about it. Don't move to it yet. Okay, arrow is next. It's going to be Victor in five seconds. Get ready to throw that green. Kill this bandit thug. Victor, start moving towards it. Get those red bombs out. Get ready to throw the green. Ooh, that's a big red bomb. Get that revival and then throw. It's on uh, Firebrand. Throw the green. Yeah. No, okay, good. It. Good, we got it. Nice. Get these reses. Get these reses. I'm not helping. I'm not resing. I'm not resing. I'm not going to res themselves. And then stack out of the big AoEs on me. Next is going to be Heart in 10 seconds. Two pirate. Yeah. So it's going to be, yeah, Pirate in Heart. 10 seconds. Get ready to move over towards it. Okay. It's going to be now, so start thinking about moving. Don't touch the flame, but throw this green quickly. It's going to have to be quick. Okay, I got it. I throw it. Oh, yeah, yeah. The bandit thugs, and by the way, that's also why you don't go early. You got um, brutally punished for going early there because the ad uh, ran over to you. Secondly, just use a distort or a block to avoid getting uh, hit by that. Uh, we're dead. We, we should reset. It's super important, guys, to not go early. Um, we got hard punished uh, by going early there. Um, super hard punished. Yeah, super hard punished. So remember, one, cannon spawns. Five seconds later, green spawns. So you don't want to be there until that green is up. Otherwise, right, um, you're going to be wasting time, right? And also, flak's going to fire at you, and the ads are going to chase you down and kick you off the edge. If there is a bandit thug over there, uh, simple solution, go ahead and use some kind of defensive, right? Like use a distort, use a block, right? Uh, or CC it, right? Like push it away ki or ki blind it, kill yeah. it, whatever, right? So if you see those things running at you, run away. You're dead. Uh, G. dead. Reset. Uh, reset. Reset. Wait, who who died there? We can 100% kill it. This is very doable. If we can just get like 10 cannons in a row, we're in business. Watch that red bomb and really focus on those red bombs. If you hear a little sizzle and your screen is orange, get the hell out. There's going to be two of those below 50%, by the way. Good. And next mini boss, this guy, we've got to break his bar or we get knocked off the platform. So, well, I mean, I think you can figure that one out, right? Break the bar. This guy, ready? 
And it's going to be pirate in two seconds, by the way. Defiance bar, go. CC, break it, nuke him. Good. So get ready to throw pirate. Green coming now. Ready for green. Oh, that was great. Green, it is on um, uh, Lolo. Uh, throw it. Uh, throw it towards north. Best. You can do it. You can do it. Heavy bomb. Get the heavy bomb too. Get the heavy bomb. Heavy bomb. Heavy bomb. Ow. We failed. That damaged the platform, but that is fine. We're still ahead on DPS. Heavy bomb is up. I'm targeting it. Break the defiance bar. Heavy bomb. Heavy bomb. Heavy bomb. And now back to the boss. Back to the boss. Finish it off. Kill this quickly. Sabatha, go. It's going to be... Um, Circle is going to be up next. Me. And it's Victor in five seconds. Yes. Red bomb out. There are two red bombs now. So it's double red bomb. Get those out. Oh, get that revive. Oh, you could yeah, me. we bombed him. Me. Res this, res this. I'm not resing. You gotta do it. Okay, All good. Right. And I'm it's up. pirate. Go, go, go. Pirate now. Get ready to throw. Throw quickly. Very quick throw. It's a uh, pasta. Victor, throw it. Nice, good. And now move. Kill this bandit thug. Targeted it. I've got it targeted. Kill this. Kill this. Stability. And then back on the boss. Watch the flamethrower. Uh, it's arrow Victor in 15. Red bombs oh, out. Own, Red bombs out. Bomb. Reheal. Restack towards arrow. Restack towards arrow on me. Okay, next this is guy? gonna be circle. Yeah, this guy flamethrower, and he spawns turrets. Kill the little turrets and beat this guy's ass. Circle is next. Pirate in ten. Heavy bomb. Heavy Get the bomb. heavy bomb. Get it. Okay, nuke the boss. Pirate five seconds. Circle. Get ready to throw. Kill that turret as well. Turret is up. Cleave it down. Heavy bomb. Heavy bomb. Heavy bomb. And get ready to throw. It's on pasta. Throw. Boom. Go. Nice. Boss. Mini boss down. We want to take this guy out fast. Bandit thug as well. Kill the bandit thug. Heavy bomb on me. Get rid of this thing. On tag. On tag. Kick this. Kick this. Big. Kill mini boss. Focus mini boss. Next is going to be heart. Oh, uh, yeah. Just don't blink whatever. Yep. Good. Kill card. Kill card. Cleave down hard. Next is heart. That's going to be Victor. And you can yeah. start thinking about moving. Get rid of card. So get this throw. Get this throw. Big throw. I got it. I got it. Go to heart. Go to heart. I throw you. Boom. Let's go. Okay, nuke. No more cannons. No more cannons. Just hit the boss. Hit the boss. Hit the boss. Hit the boss. Come on. Here we go. 5%. I think we win. Of course. Wait. And Lagnet came back to leech. It's perfect. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Hey, we did yes. it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Nice gamers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm so proud of all of you. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we cleared the way. Yes, we got there. Ooh, we got there. Down, guys. We got a bit of improvement there. We got some improvement. And yes, Melina did do some DPS there, but I will allow it, seeing as we are doing this with eight people, okay? I think that's actually completely legal. Um, and I think you should not actually let that detract from this in any way, as it's true that was, that was heavy. People, I wasn't here. Yeah, Melina that's, was that's doing. Yes, yeah, Melina was doing heavy DPS. This is absolutely true. But bear in mind, I did literally zero, and so did Lagnik, who uh, was a bit of a BRB situation. So bear in mind that with with Lagnik and with another trainee, we would absolutely have had the exact same. Yeah, so be aware of that. Um, very well done. Very, very well done. It was still eight man. Yeah. And look, and by the way, yeah, you can probably realize how good raids are for gearing right now. Cause, oh yeah, this stuff is crazy. Um, you are going to be getting, so if we can, you know, get a good chunk of these, um, raid bosses cleared a week, we can gear anything we want. Right. Cause right now you're probably thinking like, holy shit. Oh, it's going to be hard to gear stuff with raids. Oh no. Uh, you're going to gear fast by doing these things you really really are um so yeah there it is wing one job done so a very good day i think three raid bosses and old lions court demolished not so not so bad right pretty good but yeah a lot That's of improvement here. definitely a lot of um improvement uh on this one in particular but that is to be excited this is by far the hardest boss uh, in this wing, as you can, well, I'm, I'm sure you've yeah, gathered that shit. by now. Um, <laughs> you know, you've got the positioning, you've got the throwing, right, action key, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you have it at a good key bind. I, for example, have mine on six, right? But it could be anything. You just make sure you have a good key bind. Um, you go, it's in key binds, right? And it's special action, right at the bottom of skills. Make sure you have it bound because you need, it will come up again, trust me. We'll be using that quite a lot in raids, in fact, actually. Uh, so, yeah. Check it out. Check it out. There you go. Maybe one more screenshot, I think. And uh, yeah, job done. Yeah, give me you did really well on the leading as well. Yes. Oh, <laughs> well, I, I do my best. That was it's quite intense. There's a lot going on there, right? There's a lot going on. I don't on. think we would have done it without you, to be honest. Well, that is what I'm here for. That is what I'm here for. 
Hold on. Let's go. Absolutely glorious. Got him. For the family album, guys. Very, 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 very yeah. good job. Absolutely three, fantastic. Two, that is going to do it. I will not keep you any longer. We already went a little bit over time, but I think it was worth it. Um, that's it. it. That it. is it. I hope you had some fun. Uh, and I think Bo did really well. Uh, I think the past two sessions, we've made some insane progress. We really, really have. We have blasted some of this content down in a fantastic way. Thank you for way. the paycheck, by the way. So, I yeah. in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not going to lie. Uh, Lolo, you 100% deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you did amazing. Yeah, I did a really good job there. You know, that's... It's it's quite high pressure, right? Like, um, especially... Definitely especially when you have to handle a lot of mechanics like that. Kiting, throwing, right? All that stuff. And you still have to perform your role. There's a lot going on there. Uh, so I think you handled that um, very, very well. And actually... Oh, before everyone leaves, by the way, we should go grab this. There's another one of those chests for legendary armor over here. So uh, get over here. Yeah, I'm doing my best. Yes. But yeah, very well played, everyone. Very, very well played. Very good.